Yo, what's going on, fellow junkies, and welcome back. Horror Junkies 509, Kyle the 13th, coming at you again, you guys. And what? Today is Friday the 13th. Well, I'm sure glad I did my makeup today because that's the kind of thing I do on this special day. Uh, so, what am I going to do for this special day? Because I always try to do a little something on Friday the 13th. Okay, fine. As I'm filming this, yeah, it's not Friday the 13th anymore. But, you know, sue me. I work graveyard. It's still Friday the 13th to me. Um, so I don't really have a new mask to show you guys. Uh, I got one in the works, but you know, that's something a little bit different. So I happened to get something just in time for this happy holiday this time. Uh, so I know I just did an uh, action figure video and well, it looks like I'm kind of doing one again. Uh, so I hope you guys will hang out with me and come see what I got. So what am I doing in this video? I'm going to do the Friday the 13th accessory set. And I can't wait because I've been waiting for something like this for a long time. Uh, a lot of famous scenes from all the Friday 13th movies are in this set. <laughs> so come with me, you guys, and check it out. I'm going to open this up, put them together, and then I'm going to put some action figures on them and make them look even cooler. So hopefully you guys will sit tight and you know how these go with me. Hopefully I don't break anything, but you know what? It is what it is. So uh, first things first, I am going to need my little knife again, if you guys remember from my last one. Still don't have a name for this one, but you know what? It's still fun and it's going to work perfectly for this little box. Alright, without completely destroying it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and dissect this box. Let's go. So I hope you guys are having a kick-ass Friday 13th. Uh, me, it's been kind of a weird one because it, it was, I had to work last night. So, you know, I get off at 7 in the morning and then it's Friday 13th. So, you know, that's why I kind of give myself special rules. I My Friday 13th it, it is, continues until I go to bed. So, it's still Friday 13th to me. So there. All right, you guys, so that is everything that is in the box. If you haven't checked out this box, I'll freaking show it to you. There's the back of it. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, at HorrorJunkies509, you will definitely see it there as well. Uh, there's the front. All right, let's go ahead and dig right into this, you guys. They have three different set pieces that I'm going to be putting together, and I really hope this isn't going to be, like, a monotonous video, but we'll see. I'm going to try and do these in chronological order, but if they don't allow it, then they don't allow it. Okay. So, let's try and do the Camp Crystal Lake sign first, because that's the first thing we see in any of the franchise, really. Good thing I got this knife. Man, if I really cut myself on this video, it's going to be real embarrassing, guys. Alright, we got signs of happenings here. There, for a second, I thought I already broke it. Alright, you guys, so I'm going to gra grab that box again because I think I'm going to need the pictures to put this together because I don't know if it has instructions, and if it does, I'm definitely not going to follow them anyway, so there's that. Let's see here. Okay, so these are going to be for the first one, the Camp Crystal Lake sign, and wouldn't you know it, I already did break it. Wow, super glue is my best friend, so we'll make that happen still, guys. Everything will be, oh wait, did I? Yep, looks like I totally did. One of these lights broke off, you guys. I hope you guys have better luck than I do. All right, to get right into this, let's see what we need. We need the platforms. And sorry, you guys, if you can't hear me uh, behind this mask. I tried to test it out. It sounded okay when I tested it, so hopefully you guys will stick tight with me anyway. All right, there we go. Man, I can't really believe I broke that already. Oh, well, you know what? Live and learn, am I right? What else will I break by the end of this video? We'll see. I will try and do this as quick as possible so this isn't a completely boring video, but you know, I only can do what I can do, right guys?
As we already know, I'm not a very gentle person, so this is making me a little nervous. I really kind of hope they would make it a little bit better quality, but you know what? It is what it is. It should probably say in the box, for gentle users only. All right, you guys, so technically, as long as I didn't mess anything up, nope, I think I, I'm missing pieces. Hold the phone. Oh man, this is gonna be like little baby dainty work. Oh man. I hope you guys are a little more gentle than I am or else this could be a very not fun set to put together. And especially on camera of all things. I'm glad you guys can't see me sweating because that could be embarrassing. What in the hell were they thinking with these little bitty chains? Holy cow. That's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. It's only going to add to the effect, and it's going to be a lot cooler. All right, you guys, so you got these itty-bitty chains that are going to come off and hang off on the sign. And then you got to connect it to the posts as well. So this could be take some doing for me. Sometimes I wish I had little kids' hands. But sadly, I don't. Okay, you guys, as we keep on moving on this bloody Friday the 13th, and uh, even though Friday 13th is over, I hope you guys had a good safe one. I hope you guys made it. I hope you guys followed the rules, because uh, otherwise Jason will come after you. Whether it's Mother or Jason himself, you never know. Okay, got one. And I'm going to have to go buy some super glue after this, apparently. Let's hope I just don't have to use it a bunch of times, right? Oh, look at that. It's already coming off the other side. This could be tricky. You know, they're definitely going for authentic, but they made difficult. There it is, you guys. The first set. The Camp Crystal Lake sign missing a light because I'll super that super glue that on later. Uh, but you know what? Overall, the aesthetic is really cool. I like it. And that light's going to get glued back on and be just fine. All right, you guys. So... To make sure this video doesn't last forever, let's move right on to the next one, which is the part three dock scene. Dock scene, here we go. Now let's see what I can break this time. You guys should probably take bets. And who knows, maybe we'll do something with that. What part of it will I break next? There's a piece of dock right there, you guys. Looks very kind of flimsy, but we'll work with it, of course. It's what we do as fans. Hey, but at least it's cool enough they did this. I think this is really neat. Um, I, I can't thank them enough for doing stuff like this. We need stuff like this for action figures, like more so than we get. Let's see how we do this. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so we've got these logs. They're going to be on the side there. Whoops. Woohoo. It's a tight one. And I dropped it. Who didn't see that coming? Hope you guys had bets on that one. Whoever got, whoever bet that, you're the winner. I don't know if you win, but if you're the winner. Man, these are a little bit of a tight fit that makes me a little bit nervous because, you know, I've already broken something. Let's try and switch them, maybe. Because this one went on really nice, like. Look at that. And I got it together. There's the dock, and now we just got to add the light. I'm sure these are probably not exactly the way they want them to be, but that is okay. Then we need to add that big old lamp that we see Jason hiding behind in part three. Look at that. Like They did a really good job on the detail on this, which makes me really excited for this. Now, does it hang off the side of the dock, or...
Yep, I can't say that I can tell. The question is, will I break it? These types of things are not, not, not my specialty. But it's definitely, definitely not wanting to go in there. But it's a necessary thing. I did it! Holy cow! Alright you guys, so there's the dock from part 3 with the lamp. The light, whatever you want to call it, that works. So I think... If I look at this correctly, yeah, it goes like that, all right. So Jason will be hiding, standing right here with the spear gun. All right, guys, so let's move on to the last part. Uh, hopefully I'm showing you guys enough of this uh, to make this interactive a little bit. Uh, but let's move on to the next one, you guys, because like I said, I don't want to make this video last any longer than it needs to. All right, guys, so we're moving on to the part six where uh, Jason is uh, trapped underwater by Tommy Jarvis. See, there's the rock with the chain and the sign at the bottom with Camp Blood sprayed on, spray painted on it. And here is the chain that goes around Jason's neck. Is that really going to fit around his head? I guess we'll find out, am I right? Alright, so this is probably going to be the easiest one here unless I break it. You got to put the daddy end and the mommy end. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, sorry guys, I use tools that aren't meant for the purpose. People are probably sitting there, and you wonder why you break things. And I'm just like, no, I know exactly why I break things. Is that everything in this little set here? From what I can tell, yes. So let's get rid of the mess. Act like it was never here. And let's see. I don't know exactly how this holds him up. Okay, the chain is in. All right, guys, so that's kind of the setup for the Friday 13th Part 6. So now that I got it all this put together without completely destroying this set, now we need to add the ultimate action figures. All right, you guys, so I got them all set up. Do you want an up-close and personal look at how these things come out? All right, you guys, come here and I'll show you. All right, you guys, just so I mentioned, I didn't completely follow... The action figures on the box, I kind of wanted to do my own thing. Uh, so first things first, the Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake sign. I went ahead and put a Mrs. Voorhees there, act like she just got the job as a cook. And as you can see, I got that super glued on there real nice like. It's probably stronger than it was before. Uh, but definitely, you guys, uh, this looks super awesome. I cannot not wait to display uh, these guys in the room. Uh, next is going to be the Friday the 13th Part 3. Dock scene. I'm sorry if these are a little bit dark, uh, but you know, we're doing what we've got. On the box, it showed the Jason with the hockey mask with the axe chop in it already. But as Friday 13th fans know, we already know that he didn't have the axe chop yet. But, uh, yep, he looks definitely all set up there and he's about to shoot that girl in the eye with the harpoon gun. Yeah. 
All right, you guys, and the showstopper for me, this is Friday the 13th, part six. Jason lives, uh, the scene of him chained up underwater. Got the rock, the chain, and I left his machete down there because I thought that would be kind of a cool addition. And a way I might not lose it. So he's all suspended in midair, you guys, and uh, this looks awesome. All right, you guys, so that's going to about wrap it up for me. Horror Junkies 509, I hope you guys had a killer Friday 13th, and I hope this was uh, informative. Uh, maybe you guys were looking, thinking about getting this, but you were unsure. Um, yeah, I broke stuff, but I mean, that's kind of what I do. Maybe you guys will be a little more gentle and a little more patient. Uh, but I don't think that should be a reason for you not to buy it. And plus, Super Glue is an action figure guy's best friends. I can't tell you how many times back when I had wrestling action figures, I had to glue their head back on. So it is what it is, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys will get it if you guys are thinking about it because it's definitely worth it. If you guys have any questions or any uh, thoughts about this set, leave them down in the comments and I'll happily reply back to you guys. Uh, so this is my very first video, if you didn't see it in the background, with my tripod. So I have this table for me to work on. Uh, so I'm looking forward to bringing some new aspects to my videos with this thing. Um, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, did, it, did it look better that I had a tripod or maybe not? Maybe you didn't notice. Either way, uh, all feedback's good feedback, you guys. Um, so one thing I also wanted to mention is uh, just recently I got my uh, three guys that horror pin, you guys. And thank you guys, Todd, Eric, and Joe. Thank you guys for getting this to me. And it's awesome. I can't wait to add it to my backpack or my fanny pack. I don't have a fanny pack, but I'll get one. Um, so you guys, I wanted to give them a shout out. But uh, like I said, you guys, I hope you had a killer Friday the 13th. And I'm going to go enjoy mine now. Um, this is going to do it for me, Horror Junkies 509, signing out just until next time, you guys. And you already know it, I've been sentenced to life. I'm a horror lifer. And if this is the stuff you guys are wanting from me a little more. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at Horror Junkies 509, and I post things uh, as I get them. This has been sitting at my house for a couple days, but I've been waiting for the holiday to do it. Um, so you'll definitely be able to catch up with me and see what's going on and what might be coming. Uh, so that's going to do it, you guys. Have a killer day. Have a good one.